Father Kyle Schnippel joining us, and he is part of Encounter Cincinnati, a worship event for high school teens, which is coming up this weekend at the Underground. Father Kyle, good morning. Good morning, Matt. How are you? I'm doing well. So what all goes on at Encounter? Encounter is, um, in a sense, it's uh, we had uh, some youth ministers that were taking teens to a Steubenville weekend retreat, and an idea kind of grew out of an idea of, we need to do this, just give touch points to the teens that go to Steubenville and other events, touch points throughout the year to just kind of give them a shot in the arm for their faith. So it's a, it's a, it's just some praise and worship music. It's a keynote address geared right towards where teens are today, uh, and then just some time for adoration and, and prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, the encounter that we're hoping for is that these teens, the young people who come, have an encounter with the living Christ who is present there in the, in the Sacrament of the Eucharist. So Matt Rinkmeyer is going to be speaking. Tell us about what he's going to be talking about. He is going to talk about, I think, just that journey of faith, that encounter with the Christ um, and uh, there's a scripture passage that I'm drawing a blank on right now because I've had a bunch of other things, but I think that that encounter of Thomas at, at the end of John's Gospel of uh, Lord Increase My Faith, uh, we're kind of doing a faith, hope, and love theme this year. So he's he's speaking on faith and, and that in, you know how our Lord so often speaks to us, comes to us in those moments of doubt or concern, and that's right where he is. So, so Matt, uh, he's the youth minister up at St. Uh, up in Loveland, St. or St. Margaret of York, up in Loveland area. So he's been on the team for a while, and and we're looking forward, really looking forward to hearing him speak. Even though he is a, a Cardinals fan, so oh, that's that's that, that that hurts. But this is a free event, right? It is totally free, and uh, we ask that you register through Youth Minister if you can. But we also have registration at the door, um, just to help us uh, with the uh, with permission slips and making sure we know who everybody is and where they're coming from. But but even if even if you want to just come with a couple buddies, uh, you know, we ask that a parent come because we need a chaperone to help sort of coordinate, and we have a small group time at the end so can help co- uh, lead that, that small group time. But um, it's open to anybody, open, uh, te- uh, open to teens, uh, any teens that want to come, so high school age, uh, high school age teens. You can register at www.vug.com for the underground or through your youth minister, or you can come solo and register at the door. And uh, we do ask that there be some chaperones, especially for those breakout sessions when they have those small groups. And this is actually a pretty cool venue. Talk about the underground for those who have not had a chance to to see it before. Uh, The underground is for, it's a Christian venue. Uh, and they they bring in Christian acts and Christian bands on weekends to do uh, just um, give teens an alternative to the club scene that's out there. You know, instead of going to to places where you know you may hear music that's not uh, consistent with our faith practice, our faith understanding. Here, it's music, it's talks, it's uh, just a real fun environment um, uh, that that. You know, it's got a full TV studio. They do some some TV spots and things like that in there. Uh, pool tables, uh, whatever. It's just a fun place. It's designed to be a fun place for teens to hang out, but with a very Christian um, message to what they do. Um, and so, uh, so, so we we think we we landed at the underground because we we were at the Holy Spirit Center where you're based there at Sacred Heart Radio. Um, but we outgrew the room that we were using there, and so the underground gives us room for. Uh, well over 500 teams to be to participate, and and so we're gearing towards uh, building up over this year to get that many teams at every encounter event, uh, and we're getting closer and closer to that number. And and God willing, we hit the time where we've outgrown the underground even, and and we have to move somewhere else, and uh, and we'll be in a full out panic because we won't know where to go then. But but God will provide. He, he's he's built this ministry up uh, so far from just a few small youth ministry programs to several hundred teens gathering together to praise and worship our Lord, and and we're so blessed to be a part of it. Well, I know that you ran the vocation office for a number of years, and now you're a pastor, and so uh, you are not as involved in the vocation process, but I wonder how you've seen these events as critical for people being able to hear God's voice at that crucial young age. You know, to hear God's voice, you have to recognize that He's alive and He continues to speak to us. Um, he's as alive to us today, and he speaks to us in the same way that he spoke to his apostles 
uh, in the gospel. And events like Encounter, events like uh, the Steubenville Conferences or Alive and You work camps that happen during the summer or things like that, other programming, allow teens to encounter the reality of Christ present in the Eucharist, you know, not just in the Eucharistic species, but then when they go to Mass on Sunday, they're like, oh, this this is the same the same Christ, the same the same person who spoke then is speaking to me now, and and that you know, just the reality of the faith comes alive to them, uh, and by doing so, by having that reality, by having that awareness that that Christ is alive and speaking and present and calling me individually uniquely to something great that helps them recognize that they have a vocation to, first of all to holiness and the greatness in the Lord. And then the witness of having young priests who are there hearing confessions and confession. When we make the confession call, half the room goes over to the line for confession um, to, to break the power of sin in their lives. We, uh, to have that witness of young religious who are present, uh, praying with them, worshiping with them, helps them to recognize that oh, this might be in the cards for me too. And so, so the number, you know, what we've seen. You know the number of vocations, uh, of priestly vocations of, of guys in the seminary. We've we've seen a skyrocket in that number here in the Archdiocese of Cincinnati, and I'm I'm convinced that uh, you know a significant number of that is because of events like Encounter and events like that we were doing sponsored through the vocation office of Cast Your Nets or or Be Bold uh, youth events, helping teens to to experience reality and the power of God's love, and and they respond to that in such bold and dynamic ways, and it's so beautiful, so inspiring for me as a priest to witness and see uh, that does my heart really good. Encounter Cincinnati, a worship event for high school teens to encounter the risen Lord, September 13th. That's this weekend. Starts at 6.30, goes till 10. You can find more information at theug.org. That's for theunderground.org. Father Kyle Schnipple, look forward to hearing how this goes, and I hope that a lot of people go to visit encountercincinnati.org and sign up. God bless, Matt. Thanks so much. We're looking forward to a great event.